Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of the Bat Friends podcast, where two friends rediscover an animated classic. I am one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champion, Joe Joseph Grazio. Grazio. What's up, Joe? How are we doing? I'm good. We we just, your handout. I didn't know if you wanted me to introduce myself. You want to introduce me. I don't know how this works. I'm used to being on video, so I animate. I know. I, I'm Italian, so I animate. <laughs> <laughs> so we recorded one episode already, and we just spent an hour and 45 minutes talking. <laughs> <laughs> if only we recorded that. We shouldn't record that. No. <laughs> That's a whole different conversation. So we are on episode two of Batman the Animated Series on the DC Universe po- or app i keep saying podcast uh it is xmas with the joker this is directed by kent butterworth i really hope i wrote that right <laughs> i'm gonna find out in a minute because his name's not butterworth i have <laughs> some apologizing to do and um written by eddie i'm not even gonna try that eddie last that's there what i want to talk about okay so eddie Gordetsky. i gotta tell this, this is amazing so in the 90s um you know jack thompson yes for anyone that doesn't know jack thompson jack thompson was a lawyer that hated uh violent video uh, video games were the devil spawn, blah, 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 blah. So during the 90s, Jack Thompson got a lot of um, traction and really was on his crusade against video games. To the point where I believe it was Janet Reno made a comment about the dangers of video games, whatever. And she said that, um, I can't remember, I don't know if, because this is a secondhand story, she said it or Thompson did or somebody else, but basically said, Video games, rather than training killers by having violence and all this other stuff, <laughs> should train people to work real jobs. So Penn and Teller heard that and went, okay, let's make a video game of a real job. And they contacted their friend, Eddie Gordetsky, and together they created Desert Bus. Desert Bus is the first official Penn and Teller video game. <laughs> it is an eight-hour shift of driving a bus... Through the desert, from I think Reno to Vegas. Okay. This is the game, and um, there's actually I forget the group's name, and I wish I remembered it, but they do it every year around Thanksgiving. Um, they actually play Desert Bus on Marathon to raise money for I think Extra Life Children's Miracle Network. Yes, yes. I, I think it's Extra Life. It's either Extra Life is Extra Life the Penny Arcade guys. I think so. Okay. I think it's them. Yeah. Um, so they raise money and they do, and you know, they stream it and they do all stuff. So they play it every year. <laughs> Eight hour shift. <clears throat> the wheel slightly drifts to the left. So you have to sit there the whole eight hours. You can't just set it and walk away because if you do, you'll run off the road, you'll die, you lose. Um, originally, <clears throat> there was only one radio station and it, you couldn't hear it really well. There's a lot of static. Okay. And one bug would hit the windshield. If you complete the eight hour shift from Reno to Vegas, you get one point. And can and there's like six digits of zeros, one point. <laughs> and you can then con- choose to continue and drive the eight hour shift back from Vegas to Reno. <laughs> because their point was that the reason why video games are the way they are is because it's exciting. And a real job is boring. <laughs> yes. So when I saw this, and I saw Eddie Gradetsky, I'm like, holy shit, he made Desert Bus with Penn and Teller. <laughs> so I want to point out that it is Kent Butterworth. It is. <laughs> and when I realized it was written by Eddie Gradetsky, I'm like, that's why this episode is so amazing. Because <laughs> this is a guy that made Desert Bus. So this is a seminal episode because, as we talked about before, this is the episode where probably the most influential uh, societal thing it's a meme. It's yeah, an original meme. has come from, and that is the Jingle Bells Batman smells. Robin laden egg. Batmobile lost its wheel. <laughs> and the Joker got away. See, there you go. Yep. This is going up on the rocket. This, uh, this makes me laugh because he's like, I'm going to get on this Christmas tree. And it's now a rocket. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I, have a click, I have a click of this. Yes. Not the tree, but of him with uh, Laffy the hand puppet. Wearing a Santa hat, sitting on a throne with Christmas presents. Is that what won you the world championship? No, I wish oh, it did. It should have been. It should have been. <laughs> Batman just released it the wrong time. <laughs> I had to play with Thanos and uh, World Breaker, uh, Maestro. So I love how they make uh, Bruce and Batman the like bah humbug character of those. Oh, of course. Yeah, because he is. 
And uh, and Robin's trying to get him to watch It's a Wonderful Life throughout it. Which is, it's a simple but great joke. You never get past the title. Yeah. But they're going to go on patrol. So... Two seats, really? Oh, yeah. So... Oh, no. We're on Christmas Eve right now. And I, I want that to be known because Joker escapes on Christmas Eve. Uh-huh. So that's going to come into play later on. <laughs> <laughs> because... You can say a lot about the Joker. He's a very resourceful person for what he pulls off <laughs> in this time frame. Well, just because he escaped on Christmas Eve doesn't mean he planned it all on Christmas Eve. Yeah. He's got it all laid out there, man. He could have, yeah. He really just wanted to spend Christmas with the one person he loves in this world. Batman. See, like, if you really look at this episode that way, it's like, <laughs> it takes on a whole new level. <laughs> he just wanted to spend Christmas with Batman. Now, what did Batman hook onto? We don't know. It was a passing helicopter. No. Oh, okay. No prize. I love this, too. He's looking for crime on Christmas Eve. Yep. <laughs> and he's like, wait, no, it's right there. No, you got to try to be a nice guy. <laughs> this is profiling at its finest. It is. Well, <laughs> it's not profiling. He's white. But <laughs> he looks like a street thug. It's profiling. Street thugs don't have that hair. That is well-coiffed hair. That hair has product in it. He blushes from the kiss. It's a good thing this Robin has pants. Yeah. It's cold out. <laughs> so, yeah, they go back to the manor, and... This is where we get, I think we get prime Alfred here, if I remember correctly. Yes, Alfred's on fire in this. Well, Alfred's really on fire in a couple episodes later. But it's not relentlessly cheerful, is it? No, Bruce, it's a whole suicide subplot. You'll love it. This shows you how rich Bruce is because it's the 30s and he has a home theater. Yes. He has a computer, too. <laughs> he has a color TV <laughs> yes. before they exist. <laughs> yeah, that's the outfit the Joker's wearing. I love it so oh, much. Yeah. Joker in a turtleneck. Fantastic outfit. And we got our first taste of Mark Hamill. Yeah, he, he chews the scenery in this one. Oh, so yeah. Much. That's what makes his Joker so good, is when he's able to just, like, go nuts with it. Yeah, that's what I don't like about a lot of other Jokers, is that their voices are too flat. Yeah. That's what I liked about the Heath Ledger Joker. For all, whatever other issues people may have, he his voice went up and it was all yeah. over the place, which is what he, he would be. He he's, went that line of being super serious and still kind of chewing the scenery. By the way, there's a Santa tank. Yeah, Which obviously, is fantastic. Right, that's, listen, it is, here's something I've realized watching these first couple episodes. And it shoots up the right. <laughs> Fireworks that make the Joker face. <laughs> Christmas with the Joker. Um, Joker's really good with robots. Like, he has a lot of robots in his, his stuff. Do you, think, <laughs> do you think the Joker, like, employed the Toy Man? Because doesn't this series go into the Superman series? Technically, yeah. It's the same so, universe. So... I'm going to say that the Joker actually employs Toy Man. He has the Christmas Charlie Brown tree, too. Oh, like, fantastic. Joker knows what's up. See, all these cardboard cutouts. <laughs> cardboard audience. Like, that's just commitment. <laughs> Throws the hat, tips the tree. <laughs> like, it's just... And this is what I miss. This is the... I actually talked to another guy we know about this. Is What I don't like about a lot of Jokers is... Like, Joker should be funny. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, actual hilarious, but, like... He's the Joker. Yeah. So you make jokes. <laughs> it should be a joke. And it should have that level of just attention to detail where you're like, this guy is crazy. And then see, oh, Batman, I hope you're watching. Because he just wants to be with the man he loves. More evidence of his wealth. He has a TV that works in the car and his color. Yep. When it's only broadcast in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> he has a TV that changes black and white to color. Oh, and yeah, the people he robs. Great pregnant pause, by the way. Um, yeah. The awful, lawful family. And he wraps them up in a bow. Because, of course, and bullocks the baby. I love that bullocks the baby. This bullocks the dick. This might be the episode where we find out whether it's weird old drive, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, there is ice on the road. I also love that they're only being gagged. Right, by holy <laughs> candy cane in their mouth. Because it's like, you can just make it easy to spit it out. The one female character on the show besides Catwoman, so we have to put her in here. <laughs> baby, uh, baby lawful. lawful. <laughs> coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> she just always does a little anger, just like, how oh, dare you. Oh, man. So, yeah. <laughs> the turtleneck is just fantastic. Right? I love it. And it's still on brand because it's still green and purple. Yes. So, here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I'm like, where do we I know. Every time it's like. No. Laffy. Yes, Laffy. And they have a present for Batman. Because why not? It's Christmas now. Yes. So you should just let the you should let us play while it's on Desert Bus, because now we're just watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> so 
See, he creates an exact replica of Gotham. That's just an attention to detail. It's important. It's everything. See, I never thought of it ahead of time, but you were 100% right. He had to have done this ahead of time. Yeah. There's no way this happened in that time frame. No. No one can do that. But Joker's crazy enough to set this all up while... And I love that this, too. <laughs> they sing Jingle Bells, Batman Smells while blowing up a bridge. <laughs> Like, it's just... And up to this point, the only person who's sung it beside is Joker. Like, only one person knows that version. It's always my favorite when, in any kind of media, you you can't know that it's dynamite. They have to write TNT on right. the side of it. Well, you might mix it up with your butter. <laughs> or, you know, molasses. Every, Here it oh, is. Oh, oh. Uh, it's hard to tell. No, I think that's, you're, that's, you're, that's probably... Real. Real. No, it's rear wheel. Is it? Because the front... Pretty much stays, and it's the back that swings. Okay, yeah. So there you so go. So it's real, real. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> That's an awful thing to do to anybody. Batman is the greatest. Is the world's greatest driver. No one else. Now I know why no one else can drive the Batmobile. Because <laughs> do you know how many Batmobiles he crashed? How many curbs he hopped? <laughs> Just figuring out. All right. So if I start turning now. <laughs> And then how great <laughs> as autopilots. With no destination, by the way. Just, yeah, just drive. Yeah, just keep going. Oh, look. this, this rail, The rail is just permanently curved. Like, it's just <laughs> a giant arc. And, of course, Jobin, Jobin, Robin gets uh, the worst duty ever. I'm pretty sure that's not how you take apart a train. I mean, uh, it was at <laughs> one point. Not when this train existed in this fictional timeline. <laughs> Like they don't have brakes like that. It knows either. exactly where the brakes are, too. <laughs> Bye, Batman. Hope you don't die. <laughs> I love this because he's just like, get out. Archer's still the best joke about this, which is like, it's so loud. Why would anyone want to fight on top of a train? <laughs> yeah, and, no, that's yeah. totally a safe land. <laughs> He didn't just see I'm 150 feet off a cliff. I'm pretty sure Bane didn't break his back. He just got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got it to work the right off. way. He was one inch from just putting it back into alignment. And the Batmobile comes to him? On railroad tracks. On railroad tracks. Because <laughs> it's also a train. And you blow up the audience. I mean, yeah. So now it's snowing cardboard. Let's build a snowman. <laughs> Frozen took their cue from the Joker. <laughs> Coming from the... On Mount Gotham. <laughs> that was my Mount favorite. Gotham. <laughs> so creative. They called it Mount Gotham. <laughs> Driving up something that's not a road. <laughs> There's just a present hanging out there. The radar antenna. This is my favorite because... <laughs> That's what's opening. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> well, what happens? That <laughs> a giant cannon appears. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> I love that this is just like a variety show for Joker, too. <laughs> 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 the people he's aimed at that are... Joker belongs in vaudeville. <laughs> this would have been a great vaudeville act. Why doesn't the observatory have a cannon? <laughs> he converted the telescope into a cannon. Because what else do you do? This man, <laughs> given the proper psychiatric help, <laughs> could be a very useful human being. No, because you can't get this stuff done if you're sane. A cra- it takes a crazy person to know enough people that you can blackmail to get the parts to convert a telescope into a self-targeting ca- energy cannon. <laughs> That's an en- There's no shrapnel. That's an energy cannon on a full 360 mount. The observatory does not have a full 360 spin. And he also has a. Oh, wait. No, it's. Wait. It looks black and white. Know, it might be. I don't know. This Joker doesn't have the money that Batman does. It's also Joker brand TV. You know <laughs> it was a Sony. He just slapped a Joker face on it. <laughs> Just raining death, death from above, <laughs> just cause. And everyone in Gotham is so proper. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, even though Gotham is the, the crime capital of the universe, <laughs> everyone's walking around in furs and nice jackets. But see, get these are robots. <laughs> he has more robots with machine gun hands. And then that one's a better shot because it shoots the other one and keeps going. <laughs> And yeah, even though he's half exposed, he doesn't get shot at all. It's got, it's, it's got a lazy eye, so it thinks it's hitting him dead on. I love what their whole plan was. I'm going to run around in circles. You just go inside there and figure it out. Robin doesn't get a Robin orang. He nope. just gets bolos. <laughs> Flows up in one shot. Yep. 
Good job, Robin. And again, <laughs> no shells. That was an energy can. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> That's so hard to drive. <laughs> I got really sad one night. I'm like, you know, if I won the lottery, I would want to build a Batmobile. How would I build a Batmobile so it's just not a pain in the ass to drive? You have to have a front-wheel drive. You buy the 66 one. No, I want that Batmobile. I want the good Batmobile. I want the train car length Batmobile. <laughs> this is, I love this. Too. Yeah, the upside-down face. And then just standing upright and still having it on. And then it's a mask. Because, <laughs> yeah, why not? See, Batman, you got to watch where you're driving, man. Like... <laughs> That's what the autopilot's for. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes pretending. I just love it. They're sitting there. What's on TV? <laughs> they free their <laughs> arms, but that's it. <laughs> and the candy cane's still in her mouth. <laughs> well, you got to commit to the bit. <laughs> I mean. I love the Betty Blooper. Yeah. Which is just, definitely not a Betty Boop dog. Right. It's <laughs> legally distinct. <laughs> I love that this is from an era where cartoons still did that, though, where they're like, we're just going to walk right up to that line so you know what it is and we know what it is, but nobody can sue us. <laughs> That's just a laugh from a toy factory. Texting and driving, typical Batman. It's the TV. The color. <laughs> and a computer. Hey, kids, I'm a computer. The man figured out micro trips for anyone else. Now, I think that's a slight reference to the Batman 90, uh, 89 movie. I feel like that, or maybe it was the last Go Factory. I think that clown face was put up as, as a factory. Oh. I think. Uh, maybe. We'll it's been a minute since we watched, or I watched that. Yeah. I have 89 on DVD. I don't have Batman Returns. Batman Returns is filthy. It's full of sexual innuendo. <laughs> I remember when I watched it for the first time in years, I'm like, this, wow. <laughs> it's all about Penguin just wanting to get his dick wet. <laughs> like, man. Still have record players, by the way. Obviously. Yeah. In fairness... We have computers and record players today. Uh, yeah, that's fair. More Joker, evidence to your jo- robots. Robots, yeah. Joker's just an audiophile. He prefers things in the original vinyl. Yeah, because who doesn't like listening to things with a giant scratchy noise in the background? Yeah. <laughs> I prefer Hipster Joker to Juggalo Joker all day long. <laughs> Which one's Juggalo Joker? Uh, Leto. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Juggalo Joker. We don't talk about Juggalo Joker. <laughs> and you, well, you can hear it if you're watching. They're playing a, a Nutcracker. Yeah, this is going on. As they're fighting sentinels that look like nutcrackers. <laughs> 92 was big for this giant is, robots. They, this is now two in a row. That are <laughs> kind of referenced X-Men. I'm just saying. Uh, helicopters with jokers in them. <laughs> and they're not helicopters at all. They're airplanes. And he's a Batman. <laughs> so He's got a bat. Yep. Robin made that joke. I didn't make that joke. Robin really made that joke. Oh, Robin's whole plan is, yeah, I'll just grab his trash can. <laughs> I like how the airplanes are also changing size. <laughs> yeah, they don't call you Batman for nothing. And then this, snipers. Yes. <laughs> no, they're not snipers. They're just holding down a trigger. They are the exact opposite of snipers. <laughs> they literally have Tommy guns. <laughs> and then, yeah, doesn't he beat them up with the teddy bear? Yes. Because <sighs> then they keep shooting. Yeah. And then he oh, that's the other part. Yeah. The teddy bears are apparently made out of bulletproof metal. <laughs> they just absorb it. They're, they're full of excelsior. <laughs> yeah, we got Batman. Nope, it was a teddy bear. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Batman's which, a teddy which bear? Which is definitely the same size as Batman, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't tell you is that he's full of venom. So he's just baned out. I also love he still has his cape. <laughs> Always. That's... The cape's going to come up in a later episode, too. Yes. Okay. This is where... This is why it's the perfect Joker. This is why it's the perfect Joker episode. He's tried to kill Batman several times. He is now literally holding people's lives at ransom, and he gives Batman a gift. What's in the gift? Is it a bomb? No. Is it something of blades that will just cut Batman's face off? No. It is. I'm waiting for him to open it. All of this leading up to... A regular ass pie in the face. Like, <laughs> it's not poison. It's not acid. And just to just, make himself laugh. And that is why that Joker is the greatest Joker. <laughs> I just want to put a. I just want Batman to open up a box and take a pie to the face. <laughs> and then just, Seriously, could have been in the Olympics. <laughs> well, no, because if he's in the Olympics, they never would know he's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> the gloves are attached to the sweater. Of course. Of course he has multiple You'll sweaters. It's me, I'm the Joker Man. <laughs> this tour, I think this is the one where he jokes around. Yeah. Yeah. He smiles. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Joker. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I've talked about that before. I like... That there's, he's not smiley Batman, but he will smile. At yeah. Things. Like, he's allowed to have some joy in his life. He's not just all, justice. I love, too, that uh, Commissioner Gordon has a recording of It's a Wonderful Life just lying around for Batman to borrow. Does he? Is that where <laughs> he gets it from? That's where he gets it from. <laughs> yeah, and then Joker's just, all right, I got to hang out with my loved one. And now I'm in a straight jacket. <laughs> fa la 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 la. A boy dances with his feet. Oh, and that was Christmas with the Joker. Such a fantastic episode. It's yeah. But that look at him. That he he's in Arkham. He's still happy. You know why? He got to spend time with his loved ones. Yeah. It's just that the first Joker, like the first Mark Hamill that we get to see, and it's so perfect. Like the the whole caper is out of control and ridiculous. <laughs> Giant robots galore. Yeah. And it's paid off. With a pie in the face. Yeah. It's, you know, you get all the other villains we see later on. We're going to get to one in the next episode. Which is also an origin in the next episode. Yeah. Which have a, a very serious and angry demeanor to them. <laughs> and the Joker episodes are just exactly what they should be. I love it. Do we want to talk about modern comics? <laughs> <laughs> if you want. <laughs> if we, I mean, if we want to just... Build the show now. <laughs> and, now for, and now for something completely different. <laughs> so everybody listening, remember to give us a review on iTunes if you can. It really helps us and we appreciate it. And remember to follow Joe at JoePank.com or all your social medias. Just look up Joe Pank. And you can find me on Twitter at Fortress Chris or go to FortressComicNews.com where everything I do is posted right then and there. Thanks, everyone, for listening, and we'll see you all next week. Merry Christmas to you.